It's Tuesday, September 4th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, the man affectionately known as Santa Tom is recovering in Kelowna General Hospital after he was ejected from his motorcycle in a collision. 59-year-old Tom Kilner was the motorcyclist hit by an oncoming vehicle on Springfield Road Saturday evening. From his hospital bed, he told Castanet News, I'm alive, in a lot of pain, and more to tell you, but it will have to wait. A dramatic rescue on Skaha Bluffs near Penticton Monday night. It took rescuers about seven hours to get to a 50-year-old Vancouver woman after she fell in a cave. She's recovering from head and upper body injuries at KGH. The BC Alberta Cave Rescue Team was called in for the complicated rescue. It's that time of year again when motorists are reminded to slow down around school zones. Tuesday was the first day back to school for most students around the province. The school zone speed limits of 30 kilometers an hour are in effect from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, every day of the week. Drivers caught speeding will face large fines and demerit points. Fines can range from $196 to $483, depending on the speed. More turmoil within the West Kelowna Warriors organization. Players left the ice before practice ended Tuesday to protest the firing of head coach Jeff Grimwood. Grimwood was named interim head coach and GM just two weeks ago. He was fired Monday night. It's the latest in a long list of firings and resignations since the end of last season. Jason Beckett has been named the new head coach. The Warriors open the regular season Friday night in trail. The Regional District of Okanagan Samil Kameen is pushing to prevent industrial grade cannabis facilities from being built on farmland. Staff are recommending Regional District Board members pursue prohibiting concrete floor cannabis facilities from being built within agricultural zones, including the Agricultural Land Reserve. Board members are being asked to have staff prepare the zoning bylaw amendment but it's not clear how soon it would be in effect. Mother Nature has lent a helping hand to firefighters battling fires in what is known as the Monashi Complex in the North Okanagan. As crews continue to work on those fires, the BC Wildfire Service is again finding itself asking the public to stay clear of active fire zones. Kamloops RCMP tell Castanet they have recovered the body of the person who went missing back on July 29th. The individual is operating a personal watercraft on the South Thompson River and has been missing since July 29th. The body was found in the river near Grand Boulevard on September the 2nd. The mother of Charles Horvath has applied to the courts to have her missing son presumed dead. Denise Horvath Allen signed the paperwork late last week. Horvath, who was 20 at the time, was on a cross-Canada trek from his home in Yorkshire, England, when he went missing in May of 1989. Gina Petrovich is concerned about her neighborhood after discovering a massive pile of needles next to her garbage can. There was blood in some of them. Others, she said, looked brown and dirty. She said she was frustrated even more after the fire department told her that it was her responsibility to clean up the mess. And finally, how would you like to find yourself behind the wheel of a classic 1972 Mercedes convertible? The vehicle could be yours as part of Okanagan Oldies 103.9 Cruising with the Oldies. One lucky radio listener will drive away in the classic car October 27th. Listen to Gord Vizzuti in the mornings for a chance to enter or visit one of our many sponsors. A list of those sponsors is available at okoldies.net. Okanagan weather is sunshine and warming up a bit as the week moves on, but a chance of rain by Friday. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, Bingo Revenues outpace Casino and rev record French immersion numbers in the central Okanagan. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.